What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Divin and if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is my E-Trade Dividend portfolio. I made a post on Instagram that I was going to make a video right around Good Friday. I decided to pick up and uh, I wanted a few days to relax. I worked yesterday and I'm ready to roll again with my channel. So here's a few updates that I made my E-Trade dividend portfolio. Now my goal, one of my goals before I really start focusing on my M1 finance portfolio is I at least want to be at the $1,000 mark a year and uh, start kicking some ass with my um, M1 finance portfolio because I really think with my pie chart and from what I'm looking at with my pie chart, if it, I keep on putting money in that wheel is going to keep on spinning, but I want to make, how about maybe $2,000 to $4,000 on this account a month or on my quarterly dividends and about $1,000 to $3,000 a month on my monthly dividends, which is really realistic. That's some nice passive income. I'm going to show you what stocks I invested in, some changes I made. Um, I, I'm going to just be honest with you. I, I know it. I am losing in the, against the S&P right now. One of my goals is to beat the S&P, obviously. Everybody, that's what everyone's goals are. But, you know, with the market taking a hit and the huge diversity and changes that happened with the market, uh, certain things got hit. But I am still making money. So that is the nice thing. And that is the beauty of compound interest. So I'm going to show you some of my investments and how they're looking and how many shares I have. So I'll, I'll go to a few things. But let's just show you my trends right now. So this is my estimates right around here, April, July, October, and January. Now think about this. Say like I lost my job or something or something weird happened. I can, I, I know you shouldn't, but I just could flip it and here's some extra cash flow or if I owed some bills or something, I just said, nah, I don't want to do drip, dividend reinvestment. Uh, I'll just pay, you know, my bills that way. But think about this. If I get to $1,000, I mean, think how much that of a difference I would make. That could pay for your apartment, uh, a house payments. You don't have to do a damn thing. I mean, I'm single, 34 years old, have no kids. I am going to start putting the brakes on. Starting in May, I'm going to start getting a little bit more relaxed. But I do want to get to at least $1,000 a year on my estimated income, which that will grow with compound interest. That's the beauty of compound interest. But I want to at least start getting there. I want to at least start kicking up, you know, kicking these ones up a little bit. Now, dividends, reinvesting and stuff that will get there, but uh, maybe at least 175 I mean, I'll feel better with that. Again, this is like... Geez, this is a time period. Let's see. Uh, I mean, this is um, this is how things looked uh, just with this account. So this is just one account. I have Fundrise, I have Rich Uncles, and I have M1 uh, and Fundrise. I'm sorry, Fundrise, E Trade, Rich Uncles, and that. I'm thinking about doing Robinhood. I don't know yet. But look, look, AQN, this is like an energy stock. I, I need to probably put more money in this one. The energy sector was hit hard. So probably put a little bit more. I at least want 20 to 25 shares. America Realty Trust. I'm going to be honest. I did uh, make some money with my um, RCL, which I now have on my M1 Finance portfolio. America Realty Trust, I at least want to get 20 some shares. I feel very confident with this stock. I really like the way that uh, this stock is. I will post a video in my comment section, so make sure you watch the Maricold Realty Trust and what it's about, and what the Real Estate Investment Trust is about. It's actually one that's in demand. I, I see it as a recession-proof stock. Um, EPR Properties, these guys were hit very hard. It had the word entertainment in it. It's a Real Estate Investment Trust. Gives off a monthly dividend. I think it was at like $70 a share. Then this panic button hit, boom, went down. But again, estimated income, the compound interest is going up. So I can at least get a few more shares 
if they freeze their dividend, it is what it is. But hey, what are you going to do? I mean, that's one thing. Same with mainstream capital. I, I, I am kind of heavy with monthly dividend rates on here, but I do have some pretty strong quarterly dividend uh, stocks as well. So I just put I just put 300 in the stag today. And by the way, I just called my employer. I'm like, hey, uh, you got anything extra on Thursday? Let me pick up. So, you know, I'm going to make ends meet by uh, working a shift and paying that off because that's what you have to do. Obviously, if you want to throw some money in the stock market. So this is how things are looking with these guys. Uh, I, I feel pretty good with stag. The rates, um, you know, 12 cents a share and it gives off a monthly dividend stag. I have a lot of confidence in these guys. Store capital, they took kind of a hit. But again, I'll just let the dividends reinvest. I know it is down a little bit. Kind of a really hot rate, but you know, just leave it alone. Let things go from there. I made some pretty good money with BGS. That is uh, B&G Foods. Honestly, I really need to start focusing on food stocks on this portfolio. I mean, they have beaten the S&P over time, a lot of them, and they're just high in demand. It's it, They're almost like recession proof. So, I mean, people are going to need food and stuff. So that's one thing that I kind of learned as a dividend investor, you got to diversify. And uh, that's why I got Conagra Brands as well. So here's just some trends. Uh, Kroger got these bad boys when uh, they were low. So I did make some money on them. I'll show you in a second. Uh, Invesco, I mean, they're a very reputable country company i was almost going to say country but when shit hit the fan with china i mean this they went down big time so i need to uh reevaluate if i should have these guys or if i should just keep them but as of right now i'm going to keep them they give up a very nice dividend for passive income uh, delta airlines expect me to sell them uh conagra brands they're up they're doing very well ccl i'm way up on them i'll show you in a second i got 47 shares so I can't wait for the compound interest to kick in with this one because uh, there's a lot of potential with um, this one, especially after Saudi Arabia buying them. I feel very excited uh, to see these guys grow. I got 47 shares. That's really good. Newell Brands, I need to reevaluate a few things before I, if I decide to buy or sell them with some negative stuff on them. I need to look at the fundamentals a little bit, but um, I do have them on there. So, you know, I'm going to keep it as is. Norton LifeLock, I really like these guys as a company. Uh, I need something with the cyber defense. Norton uh, LifeLock, the merger, I wish I would have got them in time when they did that special dividend, but they're on there. I got eBay right here. Uh, eBay is a very hot stock. They started to give off their dividends. Um, everybody, a lot of people use eBay to buy stocks still. Uh, there's a lot of a, uh, how would I say this? They buy a lot of products on eBay, but uh, if you need a price check, or anything these guys are you know and everybody else the competitors are still good so i feel pretty good with that franklin resources they're a pretty hot uh, company in my opinion um i'm gonna probably throw some shares in them i kind of with my m1 finance i know i threw a ton of money in them and moved around a lot of shares i i want a certain amount of money in my bank account before i start um, going back to school, I think it's really important just because um, financially, it's uh, you, you need to have some money in the bank account, you know, when you go to graduate school. I'm going to live frugally. Don't get me wrong. I'm still going to put money in the stock market, but I want to put enough money to get these guys to let the compound interest start kicking in. So that's one of my strategies. Again, everybody has a different philosophy, but remember, money makes money. It's Compound interest is one of the most important things when it comes to a dividend investor with your Roth IRA, your IRA, or anything. So, so far, uh, Wendy's, I feel really good with this one. I've, you know, I have 39 shares in them. I love Wendy's. I mean, gluttony's a sin. I needed a fast food stock. They're cheap. They have beaten the S&P. I know they took a recent hit, but they will be right back up there. And I feel very confident in them. Arbor Realty Trust, uh, this is a real estate investment trust that took a huge hit. It actually was beating the S&P recently before it took a big blow, but since real estate took a big blow and these guys are back in the game a little bit, I feel really good about these guys. Gives off a great dividend. Look at this, $9.30 on a quarterly dividend. 
And once the price per share goes up, I'm going to feel really uh, happy about that and confident that I'm going to start buying more shares. And also, I'm going to start generating some more uh, passive income with these guys. So it's a very strategic move. Uh, one of my friends that's a big time investor uh, in Florida, he really liked that move. Um, so I just had a discussion with him. Delta, like I said, I'm going to get rid of. I, only four shares I and mean, what the hell are you going to do with that you know that's next to nothing so you know i can get i can get way more money you know putting in another stock that can grow really fast imagine if i stole that sold that put that in abr so that's one thing that i've considered but i really need to diversify a little bit and go from there so that's i need i know i'm kind of rate heavy but on my m1 finance portfolio Excuse me, I'm not uh, very, um, you know, rate heavy and trigger happy with rates, but, you know, that's why I took a huge blow. I'm down 24%. So right now, Arbor Realty Trust, I have 31 shares. I'm up 13.27%. Invesco took a huge hit. I know I did a lecture on them. I, I still like these guys as a company. I think they give off a pretty decent dividend. Uh, Gain, Gain's doing pretty well. Um, Gladstone Investment Corp. I know that they're down, but uh, they will be back up, slowly moving back up, which I like about these guys. Monthly dividend. Um, Carnival Cruise, I'm up 2.3%. Who knows? That'll fluctuate. Um, you know, that. this is my philosophy. Look, baby boomers are going to retire. Everybody wants to go on cruises. I really think with this... Um, and I myself am a registered nurse. I've studied a lot of epidemiology and risk factors with um, the bug that's out there. And really people who are immunocompromised do not take care of themselves. People who smoke, people who smoke uh, the Mary Jane, people who are around pollution, they are most prone to getting the infection of this. People who are not social distancing. I think people are waking up. More and more antibody tests that we should prove that people are okay and this has been around. Price per share is going to go up. These guys are going to get rolling again. Uh, I, I think what they, I think some possibilities would, from a business standpoint, they you would probably have to test positive for the antibodies that you have an immunity before you go on Carnival. I think that could be the first step to get them rolling. Uh, same with Delta Airlines and same with the other places. People have to prove that they've been immune to this before they start traveling. I think that's going to be the first step before people start going back to business. Again, these people are smart business owners. They have been there and done that. That's why I'm investing in these companies because I feel very confident in them. Mool Brands, uh, I don't know yet. I, I got to look into them. Um, Eloquent Power Utilities Corp, I feel really good with these guys. Uh, they are kind of like uh, energy stock, up and down, right and left, uh, but they are, I think they'll be back. Uh, I put some money in um, Gladstone uh, Commercial Corporation. I'm up 11.57%. I put some money in them when they took a huge hit. Uh, I'm excited to see these guys grow over time and give me off a nice monthly dividend. These guys I capitalized on right away. Brinker International. This is a uh, kind of like a restaurant chain. I probably uh, I might put money in them two before I start uh, making some moves, but I'm up. I'm up 37%. So I took advantage of that. Uh, financial Franklin Resources took a huge hit. I got these guys, B&G Foods when they're low. Again, these food stocks, restaurant stocks, they're going up. So, you know, I, I probably will start focusing more on these guys before I, you know, start going into my M1 Finance uh, dividend portfolio a little bit more. So that's the one thing. I know Wendy's is down. It's fast food, but it's going to go back up. I have 39 shares. Store, they got blown out, but they'll, they'll be back. I mean, it's a real estate investment trust that's uh, pretty popular, but, um, you know, real estate took a huge blow. So, I mean, what do you expect? Norton LifeLock, uh, they're down 7.22%. I see these guys coming back eventually once people have more money. And they'll start investing in LifeLock and Norton and the big businesses will start putting money in defending themselves to make sure things don't happen. As you can tell, EPR properties took a huge hit. Ski lifts, the um, anything entertainment, uh, they're 
they might be in some bad shape. Obviously, I lost $1,000. Uh, I think they own AMC, who's declaring bankruptcy, which is not good. Um, so we'll see what happens with these guys. I'm not going to sell them. I'd be stupid right now to sell these guys. So just leave them alone uh, and let the, let the dividends fly. I mean, all their entertainment places are closed. So what are you going to do? They can bounce back pretty strong. Um, Stag industrial complex, they'll be back. Just give them some time. I mean, anything industrial or complex, and some of those places aren't even open and they're hesitant with the um, bug. So that will eventually go back up. I see that going pretty strong. Kroger, I'm up 9%. Conagra Brands, I'm up 5.15%. Miracle Realty Trust, that's the one I, it will probably put money in. I am been targeting this one. I really like this one. Again, watch the video that I have on those guys because I'm, I'm explaining to you why I bought it and why I think it's a good stock. I'll post a video down there. Um, I also have a video on Norton LifeLock. I'll post that in the bottom uh, video section why I think that's a really good one. Um, I'll show you one on, I, I don't think I see Wendy's. I'll post another video on that uh, in the below in the comment section. So make sure you watch those three videos and why I invested in them. Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit more videos and stock analysis on videos that are um, stocks that I own to kind of give you a rationale why I own them. So, you know, these are the things that are really important as a dividend investor to be diversified. Also, we'll show you an eBay one that I did and um, go from there. So if you have any questions, make a comment section. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but I really appreciate you guys uh, making comments on this channel and understanding passive income. Look, mine's open to all you guys, like how much I make, uh, what I'm changing on, you know, changes I make because this is really important to be flexible, understand, and you can see what stocks are hot out there. You can do your own analysis before you make a change and uh, or make some changes to your dividend portfolio or your Roth IRA or IRA. So that's why I'm kind of open about it. Uh, I, I, I believe that knowledge is power and I think that people should, you know, see what's out there before you make changes. A lot of people didn't even know about Kroger. A lot of people had no idea about Wendy's being a hot stock. I know it's down right now, but capitalize on that one. And a lot of people never even heard of Americold Realty Trust. So, you know, those are things. And one last comment, people are like, eBay gives off a dividend? No way. So, you know, there, there's things out there that um, you don't know. And that's these are some videos that I post, just things that are really good out there. Funrise is one thing. Rich Uncles. So I'm kind of on pace to let's see 37. How much? How much am I making right now? Uh, estimated income. So let's just say 37 plus. Uh, come on, load, 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 load. 37 plus about 40 something. So I'm almost at $100 for monthly dividends. I'm getting there. So, I mean, that's, I'm right at right around 37 for rich uncles and we're at, uh, almost, almost at 50 for my monthly dividends on here. So let's just say I'm, I'm almost there to a hundred dollars. Once I get to at least 2000 that's when i'm gonna make a decision should i flip it or should i keep it and get to 3000 that's going to be an interesting choice because that's i mean when you're making 2000 a uh i'm just even thinking about it myself when you start making two thousand dollars a month and you're not sitting on your ass doing nothing and it's all the stuff that you invest in that's pretty nice so um i don't even i shouldn't even think about that right now but again that's a long-term goal that I'm going to have, and uh, and it's all from dividend reinvestment compound interest. So thank you for watching this uh, channel. If you guys are new to this, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Uh, look into some of these stocks that uh, I'm going to post a, a video in the comment section. 
Let me know what you think on those. Let me know what you think on my dividend portfolio and how things are looking. Um, I, I look at, I, I'm telling you this Americold Realty Trust is really interesting. So what, at least watch that video out of all of them. Uh, Wendy's is an interesting one, but I just, I mean, I just really like, I, I feel really good about these guys. I just, something something's these guys are going to do some damage i mean it's there are um something something about just the way these guys are like a store to store food and and everything it's just i i'll show you in the video just just click that i, I don't have time to explain about it but um in that video it'll tell you or, or i'll tell you why i think it's a good stock so all right, thank you, and you guys have a good one. I'm probably going to post one on my uh, M1 Finance. I made a ton of changes, so make sure you stay tuned to that one. And uh, I'm going to try to post that one by tonight. I, and then I'll post one. Uh, I'll do my Fundrise Friday, as always, and um, you know, go from there. But uh, so far, so good. I mean, that that's how... Honestly, if you're an investor, that's how you should feel. So far, so good. I mean, that's the, the best way to say it. But So uh, thank you again.